Hey everybody, this is Samuel in the Full Stack JavaScript program at SDCS with my weekly review. Uh, this past week I just finished Node 200 and now I'm about to begin React 200. The challenge I faced this past week probably had to do with the latter part of the last project. I had uh, attempted to uh, run some tests through CircleCI before my code was pushed to Heroku and uh, things weren't working as expected. Uh, it was frustrating because I had done this before. I had actually um, done exactly the same process. There was nothing particularly novel about what I was doing uh, as it seemed at the, the, the time, and uh, yet things were not working. Um, so I had to really sit down and figure out as best as I could what, what, what was occurring. I had to, to really read all of the errors that were yelling at me when I was trying to run these tests through CircleCI and kind of Google some things and, and figure out as best as I could maybe what was happening kind of I included me experimenting and trying different things to see if it would work and uh, um, doing all that I could before I finally brought my problem to a coach um, when I still couldn't get it solved. And uh, after doing so, I was able to, um, after bringing my problem to the coach, I was able to overcome the challenge and, and get things figured out. Um, but along with that came um, something I've probably said already a couple times before, but it just... It's good, I think, to continually be reminded by it because it's just a part of the process. It seems so apparent that this is just like what coding is about <laughs> in, in part, which is uh, just overcoming errors and, and asking for help in sort of a more precise uh, manner so that your question can be resolved as quickly as possible without wasting another person's time. Um, so I was able to offer context when I had my issue. I had done uh, as best as I could some research on the problem, looking things up, figuring out, you know, what was happening to my to the best of my abilities anyway, um, before I actually brought brought it up my problem to the coach and uh, uh, you know asked for help. So uh, that would be my advice, I guess. This section would just be uh, anytime you run into an error, um, you know, it can be a tendency to, to say, help me, help me, I'm stuck, before uh, you've actually looked at what the errors are actually telling you and, and addressing what your actual problem is. So uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's just good advice all around. Like Those errors actually offer some great context sometimes. You can literally just copy and paste it into Google and sometimes people will say, oh yeah, it's this and you just got to do that and you literally just do that in, in your code and oh, magically just like work. So uh, that's great if you can do that because then you didn't need to, you know, uh, ask for someone's help and um, kind of get them to stop what they were doing before. So just I think uh, makes things more efficient for everyone if you can do your due diligence before you, you know, ask for help. So yeah, that'd be my advice. Uh, looking forward to beginning React 200 this week. Um, it's actually the last section of learning material before I begin a group project and then the final project. So. Things are very rapidly approaching the, the end here. So uh, quite excited to, to move forward and uh, can't wait to talk to you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.